well dear students in our last session if you remember correctly we have arrived at the expression for electric potential due to dipole you remember the steps we have followed in arriving at this expression if you remember 1 by 4 pi e not p cos theta divided by r square minus a square cos square theta where p as you know is a dipole moment electric a dipole moment here p stands for q into 2a electric dipole moment and the theta is the angle between the line joining from the observation point with the center along the axis this is what the idea we incorporated this is the point p remember this distance r for this arrangement if you remember we arrived at this expression well students let us take this expression and consider some cases possible remember electric potential we are discussing electric potential due to a charge we arrived at earlier 1 by 4 pi not q by r now another expression derived in fact there are two important expressions derived until now in this chapter they are for five marks questions each one may be for five mark question so all the parameters shown in the formula also shown in the diagram this is potential due to dipole now we'll take different cases let us take case 1 i write case 1 suppose if theta is equal to 0 degree then what happens very clearly if theta is equal to 0 degree the point p would lie on the axis of the dipole the point p would lie on the axis of the dipole then as you know cos of 0 degree is 1 then a formula becomes v will be on the axial line which will be 1 by 4 pi e not into cos 0 degree is 1 p divided by r square minus a square will be the formula look at this cos square 0 1 cos 0 1 hence further in the same formula this would be the potential at a point on the axial line of a dipole potential at a point on the axial line of the dipole in the same for short dipole as we know a would be very very less than r the length of the dipole is very short when compared to the distance of the observation point from the center such a dipole we call it as short dipole then considering this we will find the simplified version of the same which is r square this would be the formula and you will see that due to dipole potential varies inversely with the square of the distance remember the p is a dipole moment dipole moment it is remember this point p is an observation point the same letter p is used also for dipole moment don't confuse with the point p and dipole moment this is 1 by 4 pi e not p by r square so potential due to dipole potential due to dipole varies inversely with the square of the distance this is the important part we should refer remember strings in the last class 
we arrived at this expression and in today's session we are just discussing about the results so one such result considered as case 1 and refer this let me go with another case case 2 very importantly if i take if theta is equal to 90 degree if theta is equal to 90 degree remember this line joining from observation point to center of the dipole will turn like this and will stand like this and will be the perpendicular bisector to the axis of the dipole in such a situation you will see that here let me show the same with the, the necessary arrangement like this <clears throat> look at this is the situation strings this would be the line any point on this line and remember this line even can extend on the other side also this line can extend on the other side also So, potential at P due to negative charge, potential at P due to positive charge, any point on this line, 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 phi potential will be 0, Remember, potential would be 0. Because cos 90 degree is 0, therefore we find the potential at any point on the equatorial line. This is equatorial line. This is equatorial line. And potential at all points in the equator line is zero. Potential at all points in the equator line is zero, remember. And such a line, students, such a line is called equipotential line. What is equipotential line? A line drawn in an electric field where potential is the same at all such points. Potential here is same, potential here is same, here is same, here is same. 
This is A, you can say. This is B, you can say. This is C, you can say. This is P again, you can say. At all these points. C, you can say. These are all the points of same potential. The equipotential line. Any line drawn in an electric field same at all points. So what is equipotential line? Any, any line drawn in an electric field where potential is same at all points on the line. Such a line is called equipotential line. An example is the equatorial line of an electric dipole. The equatorial line of an electric dipole is a equipotential line. The equatorial line of an electric potential, uh, electric uh, dipole is a equipotential line. And remember, in this case, in fact, potential at every point on the equatorial line is zero. Potential at every point on the equator line is zero. So in this case, potential at every point on the equator line is zero. And uh, remember, if any charge moves on this line, if any charge moves on this line, the work done to move a charge on this line is zero because work done is equal to potential difference into charge. You remember? We also notice another important point, friends. Wherein we know that suppose if a point charge moves from A to B, there is V A minus V B is equal to we know that work done in moving from a to b divided by the charge which moves say q naught our work done is equal to to move the charge from a to b potential difference into q naught and what is the potential at a and b they are same therefore potential difference is zero since since V A minus V B is equal to 0. You will find work done in moving from A to B is 0. This is another important point to notice. This is called equipotential line and electric field. In the, in the electric field, when you draw a line where potential is same at all points on the line, such a line is called equipotential line. The most suitable example for equipotential line is the equator line. And you should also remember work done moving a charge from one point to another point on an equipotential line is always zero, remember. <coughs> you can also now show the plot to compare how potential varies due to a charge and how potential varies due to a dipole. This is also important to notice. The graph we are going to plot. Potential versus distance and we plot two graphs we are going to show the two curves one due to an isolated point charge and one due to dipole how the graph would be remember how the graph would be
remember the first curve drawn a b c d the a b is due to a charge c d the curve drawn is due to dipole the curve a b point charge and the curve c d shows due to dipole potential varying with distance because due to charge potential varies inversely with the distance whereas due to dipole potential varies inversely with the square of the distance remember this hence the graphs are shown the two graphs the two curves one due to charge a point charge and one due to dipole well students can note all the points discussed here very importantly one at a point on the axial line and one at a point on the equatorial line and for equatorial line as far as equatorial line is concerned we are getting one important result what is called equipotential line potential at every point on the equatorial line is zero note this well students now in the next part let us establish one relation that is relation between electric field and the potential how electric field and potential are related we are going to establish one result if you complete this part we will proceed to learn the relation connecting electric field and electric potential hope that uh, this part is completed let me clear this part the next study is relation between e and v what is e electric field what is v potential let us consider a charge q let us find a b right let this distance dx there is an electric field and would like to move a charge say q not potential at a va potential at a due to q similarly vb potential at b due to the same charge q now let us consider work done in moving the charge q not of course it is plus 1 coulomb from a to b against electric field against electric field of the charge q now we know that work done small work done is equal to force into displacement into cos theta small work done is equal to e into q not into dx into remember the charge is moving against against remember against the direction of electric field 
therefore it must be cos of 180 degree this is minus e into remember q naught value is q naught value is taken as 1 into dx into this is minus 1 hence minus written here 1 this is a dw or you can also keep q naught the same and you can also cancel after substituting for dw q naught of course otherwise one coulomb or if you retain q naught same it also cancels when you substitute for work done when you substitute for work done and work done is equal to remember potential difference into charge va minus vb or vb minus va potential difference and it is small let us put it is small potential difference dv let vb minus va is equal to dv small potential difference between a and b or b and a therefore by the definition by the definition dw is equal to dv into q naught which is equal to minus e into q naught into dx look at this very clearly So that now for a dw is substituted you can call this as equation 1 and substituting in 1 remember so that now q naught cancel on either side you are left with dv is equal to minus e into dx or e is equal to we can write minus dv by dx this is the required relation remember minus dv by dx here are some important results you have to conclude based on this relation and you look at once what is the process we made let us charge q place that o at some point reference point o and remember two points a and b having a small distance dx let us move unit positive charge q naught from a to b and for that we need to do work against the electric field of this charge q electric field of this charge q then we can say va potential at a due to charge q vb potential at b due to charge q then work done in moving the charge what charge q naught of one micro coulomb no, sorry one coulomb unit value from a to b against electric field of the charge q then dw is f dx cos theta dw is f is e into q naught by the definition force is equal to field into charge dx cos 180 degree because charge is moving opposite to field cos 180 minus 1 written and we consider it remember vb minus va potential difference between points b and a small potential difference because they are separated by small distance hence we also accounted a small work done dw small work done dw remember small potential difference between a b and a by the definition dw is dv into q naught you can refer for that matter here same is equation 1 substituting in equation 1 q naught q naught cancel so dv is equal to minus e into dx e is equal to minus dv by dx this is the result here negative sign dv by dx dv by dx shows change in potential with the distance change in potential distance 
this is negative sign and dv dx is called potential gradient negative of potential gradient dv dx electric field negative sign of dv dx it has some significance basically basically you remember dv by dx is a termed as what is called potential gradient potential gradient what is gradient any quantity varying with the distance we call it as gradient here potential varies with the distance you see very clearly as the distance increases potential will decrease as the distance increases potential will decrease hence negative of potential gradient the negative sign shows decrease in potential with increase in distance also the negative sign signifies that the direction of electric field look at the direction of electric field will be in the direction of decreasing potential the direction of electric field will be in the direction of decreasing potential so the line the direction along which potential decreases in that direction the electric field is directed so that is also a significance and remember this kind of relation this kind of relation is very clearly considerable if we have a non uniform electric field this is a non uniform electric field you know what is uniform electric field and non uniform electric field you are well versed with this terms in the first chapter a uniform electric field is the one where field is uniform at all points in that region means same in a magnitude and direction a field is a non uniform if it has different magnitudes or directions or both in a given region then it is a non uniform and look at due to a point charge the field is always non uniform why because you can find out what is the field at this point you can find what is a field at this point it will be different you can measure what is field at b it has one value if you measure field at a it has another value so the space surrounding a point charge field is always non uniform so your field is being non uniform hence you are getting an equation of this kind this relation stands holds if the field is non uniform remember so here is potential gradient means what what is potential gradient variation in potential the distance variation in potential with the distance with the distance this is first point to notice this is the next point to notice and thirdly very important the negative sign the negative sign shows decrease in potential with increase in distance the negative sign also shows the direction of electric field is always in the direction of decreasing potential for the arrangement shown shows v decreases the right v decreases with increase in distance with increase in distance potential decreases with increase in distance negative sign also indicates negative sign also indicates that the direction of field is the direction of decreasing potential so totally the result shows e is the mean electric field is the negative of potential gradient as far as electric field is concerned and this e regarded as uniform for simplicity we assume between a and b e is uniform because a and b are very very close remember students this is another important 
relation we established what is called relation between electric field and potential and that generally this is also a question generally asked for 3 marks you know that there are 3 mark questions also in the question paper for board examination so there may be a possibility of getting this question for this marks asking you to establish relation between electric field and potential you note down all these points carefully here one more point also can add the electric field is negative of potential gradient and the negative sign also indicates the field is in the direction of decreasing potential the field is in the direction of decreasing potential remember you can also add one more point like field is in the direction of decreasing potential and also you remember this relation holds for non uniform field <coughs> field is not same at all points this relation which stands for non uniform electric field students you must notice these points remember now i told you that we have to add one more point like uh, electric field is in the direction of decreasing potential and the relation stands if the field is uh, non uniform I write one more point. So, what is written, friends? E is the negative of a potential gradient. E is in the direction of E is in the direction of what is called decreasing potential decreasing potential E is in the direction of decreasing potential remember E is equal to minus db by dx holds for non uniform electric field non uniform electric field it holds for non uniform electric field hence we have differential form of electric field Let us write one note here. Consider a charged spherical conductor right. we know that electric field inside it is zero. We know this very well electric field inside is due zero due to a charged spherical conductor this is a well known result charges do reside on the surface of a conductor hence electric field inside the conductor is zero charged spherical conductor considering charged spherical conductor charged spherical conductor so let us consider this account there using now
since E is 0 inside then U it implies dv by dx is equal to 0 correct from this relation or dv is equal to 0 from this relation correct or it is same as what v is equal to yes as you know that constant why because differential of a quantity is 0 means that quantity remains same remains constant so v is constant means potential is constant where it is constant inside the charged spherical conductor so though v is, e is 0 here but remember v is constant this is one important relation we can notice and it is constant from the center up to the surface potential remains constant potentially same everywhere our entire surface potentially same and if you move outside the surface potential will vary with the distance at all points on the surface inside and up to the surface due to charged spherical conductor potential is constant remember even electric field inside is zero but potential is not zero rather it is constant this is the important result or rather a consequence of this relation you have to understand in fact, the surface like this, a surface of this kind is called equipotential surface. Why? Because potential is same over the entire surface. Such a surface can be called equipotential surface. Like we have earlier equipotential line. Now, there is equipotential surface also. Accordingly, remember v inside and up to surface up to the surface potential will remain same that is 1 by 4 pi naught q by r and it is constant and v at any point outside say maybe like some point here p let this distance is small r then you will find v is equal to 1 by 4 pi e naught will be q divided by small r. Remember where q is the total charge on the conductor. q is the total charge on the conductor. Right up to the surface. Up to the surface.
Students, this is also the graph uh, for the results discussed above. This is the graph of variation of potential, potential versus uh, distance, potential versus distance. This is V versus distance and V, they say that it is constant and the maximum. Constant. And here, outside, V varies inversely with distance. This is the graph of uh, variation of potential with a distance. Graph of V versus R. Up to the surface, from the center up to the surface, potential remains constant and as you move away from the surface, potential keeps on decreasing and varies inversely with distance. For the results above, here is the graph. Unlike electric field versus distance, you will see that electric field up to the surface will be zero, it starts from surface, it will be maximum. This is important that potential here it is established. It is important that potential here it is established constant. You note down all these important results in discussions. Here V is constant up to here, fixed constant maximum, up to surface constant, up to surface maximum then decreases. Well students, uh, we conclude today's session. So in the next session, we will be discussing few more important uh, concepts. So in today's class, we mainly discussed about the results of potential due to dipole had essentially two cases considered one at a point of the axial line and we see that potential varies inversely with the square of the distance and at a point on the equator line then potential is zero so at a very point on the equator line potential is zero such a line is called equipotential line we called remember then we have discussed very importantly the relation between e and v electric field and potential and field here is a non-uniform field because we, we considered a point charge. Due to point charge, field surrounding it is always non-uniform. It, it, it varies uh, in magnitude and uh, as well as in direction. And after getting this result, we derived this result. And this can be for three marks. And we discussed various aspects of this result. And uh, one important note also we have made here from this. Charge is spherical conductor if you consider field inside is zero but potential is constant and then proved mathematically and uh, what is formula for potential at every point on inside and up to the surface inside and up to the surface it is written where capital R is the radius of the spherical conductor and at any point outside the formula as usual and also at the end graph is plotted to show how potential varies with the distance how potential varies with the distance you carefully notice all these points very important. <coughs> so, with this, we conclude this session and we will continue our discussion in the next meeting. Thank you.